Today we're going to talk about how to find and hire the top, top, top talent for your industry. My name is Michael Marav and I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years and we did that with zero money invested. Now we have a company that's growing like crazy from coast to coast like butter on toast. So when it comes to hiring top talent, everyone always asks me, Michael, how do you find the best of the best of the best to come work with you? And I learned a long time ago, before you start thinking about hiring the best, what you need to understand is you got to kind of reverse the psychology a little bit and say, okay, why would the best of the best want to work with me? Like, are you the best of the best in order to attract the best of the best? It's just like in dating. So many people want to find the one. They want to find their best partner. They want to find their match made in heaven. But what they don't realize is that they're not truly becoming the best version of themselves to attract that better version. So for example, you may have a list of 100 things or 50 things or 10 things that you're looking for in a potential spouse or potential partner. The question is, what is that person, if they have all those qualities, what would that person look for in you to make sure that you can actually live and you know, support that individual, right? Like you would actually be a good match for that individual. For example, if you're looking for a person in dating or even a, you know, for, a, for a potential business partner relationship or a new hire, whatever it may be, and if you wanted to have, let's say as an example, integrity, will a person of integrity want to do business with you? Would the person of integrity want to actually be in a relationship with you? And if the answer is no, then how can you attract that individual? So many people want to have the best of the best in their company, but they're not willing to become the best of the best version of themselves to attract the best. So one thing that I learned, in order to attract the best talent, the best partners, the best everything, you have to work on yourself. The best work you need to work on is on yourself. And then secondary, you can start attracting great people. And then you can focus on bringing top talent because what will end up happening is that people are going to message you, they're going to DM you, they're going to email you, they're going to find you because of who you are. You don't have to sit there and beg people to work for you. Like, I haven't begged people to work for me in so many years because I have truly mastered the game of myself every day and becoming better and better and better and better. And because of that, I don't have to convince people to want to work with me. They already want to work with me. All I need is the proper opportunity for them. And that's the beautiful thing about becoming an amazing leader in your business, an amazing salesperson, a business owner, CEO, is that you have to become the best version of yourself in order to attract the greatest of the greats. And by the way, you're not going to attract all of them all because of money. So many people want to say, oh, I'm going to offer you. They're going to start waving a dollar bill in their face. Money is not the true motivating factor for a person that's a top, top, top talent individual. Like a top, talent, talent individual is not really looking for more money. They're looking for a place that's congruent for their dreams and goals to come closer to their dreams, to their goals, and their aspirations. They want to be part of something huge. They want to be something massive. They want to make a huge impact. Those are some of the conversations you want to be having with people if you're trying to recruit top talent. Because if you're trying to talk about more money, it might work. But I don't like to recruit people just for money itself. Money is important, of course, but it's not the main aspect. The main aspect is changing the world, making the world a better place, inspiring others, leading others, making an impact, selling an amazing product or service that changes people's lives. Those are the conversations you want to talk about because those are the things you're going to be, you know, those are the things that are going to be attracting all those top talent people. And the last but not least, in my opinion, you have to take a microphone or a megaphone and speak about what you believe on right? Speak on what you believe in as well. For example, for me, I use social media. I use these platforms because I love the fact that I can speak my voice and some people hate it and some people love it. And the ones that love it, come, in, come join forces with me. And the ones that don't, it's okay. They watch from the sidelines, throw their hate or whatever, and that's okay. But I understand that in order for people to know what I have to offer, I have to have a megaphone and a microphone and speak my belief system, speak my values, speak what I love to speak about. So many business owners nowadays are not even talking on the internet. You have this amazing channel of, of opportunities of YouTube, TikTok. Well, I don't know about TikTok. It might go away, so who knows? But Instagram, all these different platforms, and you're not talking about what you believe in. That's crazy to me. If you want to recruit top talent, in my opinion, you got to put yourself out there and show people who you are. And if people love who you are, they're going to want to do business with you. They're going to magnetize to you. It's going to be attracting the greatest talent in the world so you don't have to chase people. People will actually chase you. So my name is Michael Morive, and if you love this kind of content, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this with someone if you want to inspire someone. This is a mission that we're trying to focus on to get 100,000 subscribers on, on, on YouTube. So I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.